Ceresa and the Lost Demon. Long ago, there existed two clans, the Lumen Sages of Light and the Umbra Witches of Darkness. Together they controlled a mysterious power. The clans put in place strict laws to ensure that strife would never consume them. But a pair of star-crossed lovers broke this rule and a child was born with the blood of both sage and witch. It was a beautiful baby girl. As punishment for their forbidden love, the pair were torn asunder. The girl's sage father was exiled to a far land and her mother locked away in a solitary jail. The witch clan took in the young girl, but she grew up shunned as a pariah, cursed by the circumstance of her birth. Her one comfort was the night she snuck into the village jail to visit her mother's cell. Her mother passed each grueling day, barely able to so much as move in her cold cell. But when her daughter came to visit, the witch always showed her a loving smile. But even this small happiness eventually came to an end. On the night of the girl's 10th birthday, her mother was to be moved to a deeper cell where even the faintest memory of daylight could not reach her. In desperation, the girl tried a daring rescue, but with only a child's strength, the attempt was in vain. More alone than ever before, the young girl clung to all she had left, a stuffed cat named Cheshire, which her mother had made for her long ago. Many moons have since passed. Turning her back on the village, the girl was taken in by an exiled witch who lived on the outskirts of town. Under her strict guidance, the girl continued to train in the ways of the dark arts. She was determined to be a powerful witch and one day save her mother. Her name was Ceresa.
you bring misfortune to us all. Leave me alone! out of time. This is your last chance. If you don't hurry, you may never see your mother again. John, I... I can't. Oh, you big baby. Come on, I'll lead the way.
that dream again. But the ending... It was a dream Ceresa knew by heart. But this time, something had changed. Ceresa decided to consult her friend Cheshire. A strange boy appeared and told me something incredible. He said, if I went to Avalon Forest, he'd give me a fantastic power. If we had that, rescuing Mummy would be a piece of cake. The Forbidden Forest. The oft-repeated warning from Ceresa's teacher rung in her ears. Avalon Forest is home to fairies, creatures who love to whisk away children. Stay away. Ceresa, where are you, my dear? Ceresa's teacher Morgana was standing by the door, her frown discernible even from a distance. <laughs> 